Finally done. Now I need to use the bathroom. Erger. Why does this day have to be unlucky? I need pads right now. There's no more pads. I'll just text mom right now. Hey mom, can you buy some pads please? Who are you? Mom stop joking around. I'm not your mom. Why? Wah. I'm so sorry I thought you were my mom. But are you sure you're not mom? Do you even know how to read contact names? Oh, you really are not my mom. I'm sorry again. Gosh, this is so embarrassing. It's fine. I'll just buy you some pads so send me your address. And why would I send my address to a stranger? I know you'll kidnap me. You're the one who texted me first. Oh yeah, but I still won't send my address. I'll just text my real mom. Okay then, good luck finding some pads. Hey mom, are you there? Mom I need you right now. Mom. What an unlucky day. I can't get out right now. Who even is that guy I just texted? He said he can buy some pads for me. I don't even know who he is. And I don't even have friends to ask for help. Psh. I have no choice. Hey. I, never mind. I can't do this. Huh? Just send me your address, and I'll just drop your pads in front of your door. What? Can't you read messages? You'll do that? You don't want. Okay, never mind. No, wait, here's my address. Thank you so much. All right, your pad is on the way. Wow, I'm so happy and nervous at the same time. What if he's just tricking me? Well, I don't think so because I'm the one who chatted him first. I'll just wait here. Hey, I left your pads in front of your door. It's here already? It's already here? There's also food in here? I also bought some foods for you so you better pay me. I didn't even ask you to buy foods why do I need to pay for it? Just be thankful I bought foods too. Well then, thank you, but I still won't pay it. Whatever. Few days later. Oh, where is that man? Who's this calling? Zaira where in the world are you? We'll get Kchi yelled if our manager see you being late. Then shouldn't you prepare your grave now? I told you to set your alarm. I already warned you about I. Hold up there boy. Shouldn't you know already that the one you're talking to through the phone is definitely not Zaira? Seriously dude this is not the time for jokes. Wait, now that I think of it. You're not Zaira. Isn't it obviously from my voice? Wow, I'm impressed you noticed it already. Wait is this real? Are you one of my obsessed fans? Obsessed what? Boy, I don't even know you. And for your information, you are the one who called first remember. Oh, is that so? Well then I'm sorry. Okay whatever, bye. No wait a minute. Now what? You're a girl right? No, I'm gay, what else would I be? You know what this means right? You're a girl and I'm a boy so maybe we can. Have a good day, bye. Be friends. This girl didn't even let me finish. Now what just happened? I need to hurry. Good morning. Two cups of latte please. And please hurry up because I'm in a rush. Coming right up. I'm here. Now why are you late huh? I'm sorry I woke up late. You stayed up late playing games again right? Wow. You know me so well. But I bought you latte and it's your favorite. Fine I'll let you go this time. I'll just get ready. I'm thirsty so why not drink this? Wow, this tasted more than the latte I was drinking yesterday. I wonder where he bought this. The next day. You said you chatted someone accidentally, right? Because you thought it was your mom? Yeah, and it's the same number that called me yesterday. And thought I was that Zairo guy when my name is Celiana. Do you know what I'm thinking? What? I'm guessing he hasn't delete your number yet. That's why he accidentally called you, or maybe. Or maybe what? Or maybe he called you on purpose. What? No way. Why would he do that? Well maybe he wants you to pay him back. But he said I don't need to pay him. Then how about try to chat him again? Nah, why would I? I'm already embarrassed. Just try it this once. No, now hold my phone because I need to use the bathroom. Sure, take your time. Psst. Oh, you again? So you really didn't delete this number, huh? What do you mean? I deleted it, why would I save your number? I know you did. I don't even know who you are. The name is Celiana. Okay. I'm back. Oh, welcome back. My phone? Oh here, you have a new message. Who is it? So you didn't delete his number to huh? How did you even knew that this was the number I was talking about? Just respond to him already. He's waiting. What did you tell him? I'm heading out, bye. Hey, don't leave me here. 
Great, now I'm stuck with this stranger who bought me pads. Gosh, this is so embarrassing. Now how do I respond? Do I tell him I'm not the one who messaged him at first? Ugh, screw it. I'll type whatever comes in my mind. I'm sorry, but you should delete this number now. What if I don't want to? You kid, delete it now or I will block you. Excuse me, I'm not a kid. Oh, then are you an old man? A grandpa? What if I said yes? Are you gonna be a grandma too and be my wife? I would if I can. Just delete this number already. Nah, pay me first. What? You said I don't have to pay you. I don't have money. I didn't say pay me with money. Then what? Never mind. Gotta go. I'm still not deleting your number. What's wrong with this guy? Wait, is he even a guy? Why does he even want to keep my number? Nah, maybe he's just joking. I'm sure he deleted it already. What a crazy girl. But yeah, she's right. Why aren't I deleting her number? Yo, Xavi, want to eat with us at the cafe near Zyro's house? Yeah, sure, I'll come. It's cool here, right? They just opened two days ago. Yeah, and they already have a lot of customers. Their recipes must be really tasty. So this is where you bought the latte you gave me last time? That's right. Good afternoon. Take a seat. Oh, thank you. I might come here often now. I really love their latte. I wonder who makes it. Time skip at home. I can finally rest after a long day of work. Finally home, but now I got nothing to do. My crazy mind is making another crazy idea again. Can't believe my mind makes crazy ideas when I'm bored. Now where's my phone? Now who's this messaging me? Hey there, angry Pat. This guy again? He still have my number? Now what? I said delete my number. Why are you chatting me now? And what's with that crazy nickname? Well, you're always mad, so I called you Angry Pat and don't mind the word Pat. Just ignore it. Oh, then what if I call you Mr. Grantster? What in the world is Grantster? It's a mix of Grandpa and Stranger, so that makes Mr. Grantster. That's a bad nickname. How am I a Grandpa and a Stranger when I bought you pads? Just forget about the pads, please. Nah. Then bye. Don't ruin my beauty rest. Hey, no way, don't go yet. Oh, come on. Now I have nothing to do again. Psst, guys. Let's go to the calf again. I agree. Same here. I have an idea. Psst. You again? Yep, the one and only Prince Charming of your life. Will you just stop chatting me, please? Nah, I want to tell you that I'm in a cool calf that I rated it 100 over 10. Guess what? I'm in a calf too, so basically, not only you. This calf is cooler than that calf you're talking about. Nope. I work at this calf and all the costumers like our menus. Well then, what calf are you working for? Why would I tell you? This time you might kidnap me. Do you really see me as a bad guy? Yes, 100% a bad guy. I bought you pads, is that what bad guys do? Do you have to bring the pads in our conversation again? Yes, is there a problem with that? I'm going, bye, see you never. Hey, tell me what calf you're working in then after that I'll stop bothering you. Oh. Uh. Why do you look so mad? Maybe his girlfriend is on her period. You have a girlfriend? And you didn't even bother to tell me? Who said I have a girlfriend? If you don't, then why do you look so mad? It's nothing, don't mind me. You're suspicious. I'll just order another cup of latte. How many times do I have to tell you not to go on a public place? Your fans might attack you, you know. We're sorry, it won't happen again. Just ask the stuff to buy whatever you want. This will be the last time. This is all your fault, Zairo. What? Why me? You guys always agree too. You can say no, you know. How can we say no when their menus are delicious? Correct. It's like we're in heaven. See, you love the calf too. I'll just change my clothes. You guys stay here and don't touch anything. Ugh, what a tiring day it is today. When will mom come home? I'm uh, just call her. Hey bro, Xavi's phone is ringing. Go check it. Maybe it's important. Why is the contact name Groomy Stranger? What? Here, take a look. Who in the world is that? It said stranger so he probably doesn't know who it is. Go answer it. What? Why would I? Shh, don't worry. Xavi won't know. Alright, fine. Hey mom, when are you coming home? Pfft. Shush, keep quiet. Why do I hear a boy's voice? I called the wrong person? Oh hello, I'm sorry I called the wrong person. Wait a minute. 
Looks at contact name. I called annoying stranger. Hey, I'm back. What are you to doing there? Yao Zairo, we need to change our clothes to right? Oh yeah, you're right. We'll be right back. Weirdos. Next day. Psst. If it's about the call, then I told you I got the wrong number and thought you were my mom again. Huh, what call? Oh, come on, don't pretend you don't know that I accidentally called you yesterday. What? Wait a minute. Those weirdos touched my phone yesterday, didn't they? Hey, it was actually my members who answered your call yesterday. Sorry about that. I'm guessing it's the guy named Zairo? Wah, how did you know? You accidentally called me last time and thought I was Zairo to write. Oh, wow, you still remember that. Anyways, I'm guessing you're at your job right now? Secret. I'm going at a calf and I don't know if you're there. Once I come in inside the calf, I'll wave my hand and you shout if you see someone waving their hands because that means it's me, okay? Why are you telling me this? I don't want to meet you. Just do it. Okay, I'll be going now. See ya. Now who does he think he is to tell me what to do? But I'm curious about how he looks like though. And I'm sure he won't be in this calf. That's him. No one's shouting, maybe she's not here, what did I even expect? So that's him huh? But why does he look familiar? Hey did you see me? I guess no because no one shouted when I raised my hand. I'd rather see my favorite idol than you. Not everyone is dying to see me. And who's that favorite idol you're talking about? The one and only Xavi from a band called Triple Black. I'm more handsome than him. Okay, keep dreaming. I'm sure you'll say I'm more handsome when you see me. Wow, so excited. Can you stop being rude? I'm trying to be friends with you. You already have friends. Why do you even want me to be your friend? I need someone to help me tell my secrets. I can't really say it to my friends, so I'm finding someone who I can trust. So you trust me? You don't even know me. But I'm sure you're kind, so please be my friend. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll be your nicest friend. Wow, didn't know she likes our band, and she doesn't know she's chatting her favorite idol. But at least we're friends now. Why do I even want her to be my friend in the first place? Why do I kept annoying her? Never knew a girl will make me confused and crazy at the same time. Now, who's this? What now? Good evening to you too. What do you want now? We're friends now, remember? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can annoy me every day. Okay, fine, I just wanted to ask your name. We have been chatting and accidentally calls each other. Don't you think it's destiny? Oh please, keep dreaming. I still don't want you to be my friend. Everyone wants to be my friend. How could you not? When they found out that you're annoying, do you still think they would be friends with you? Of course they will, because I'm the one and only XA. Oh, Oma, what's your name again? I almost say my name. You won't stop until I tell you right. Correct. <sighs> it's Zeliana. Ooh, cool name you got there. So aren't you gonna tell me yours? Oh yeah, it's XA. Uh, I mean ZV. Yeah, it's ZV. ZV? Wow, it sounds similar to my favorite idol's name. I'm more handsome and cooler than that favorite idol of yours. Excuse me, he is talented, gorgeous amazing and handsome. No one can compare to him. She doesn't know who she's talking to. Okay, Grumpy Zelly, I know your name now, so you're lucky I won't have to call you Grumpy Stranger now. I'll hang up now. Bye. Why does she always end the call so fast? Few days later. Get out, get out. Get out of my head. You sure I should get out of your head? Why am I dreaming? Someone pinch me, please. Yes, you're dreaming. Your dreams came true now. Jaya ha ha sha, someone please help me calm down ush sesh. Wow she's so lucky she got notice by all the members. Yao zivi hu eg gufergeeb help me calm down it's of sud. What happened? You okay? I'm not calm. Wait. Okay I'm calm now. So do you want to tell me what happened? All the members of Triple Black Band commented on my post on Twitter. The what now? She's that fan that we all replied to? Wow, this is becoming more interesting. Now I know her fan Twitter account. Really? I thought you were dying or something. You're really a crazy girl. So that's it? What do you mean that's it? You're jealous again, aren't you? And for your information, being noticed by your idol is a big achievement for a fan like me. Ah, uh, can't you believe it? They all noticed me. This is the best day of my life. I'm so happy. Okay, whatever. I have another plan. Next day. Hey Zeliana. Hum? Is your username on Twitter Zella Shelley? What the? How did you know? 
Are you a stalker or something? Go on your Twitter account and wait for something. Why are you telling me what to do, huh? Just do it and see your notifications. Yeah, yeah, fine, boss. What is he planning? What in the world? Xavi from Triple Black just followed me on Twitter? How did this happen? Oh, wait. Are you Xavi? Your one and only favorite idol. How is this happening? I need to know if I'm dreaming or not. Wow, another day of Zeliana ending the call so fast and not even letting me talk. But I want to see her surprise face though. Hello? Hello, my dearest fan. Still not over my surprise yet. Oh shiz, hey Nishin. Would you look at that Jishish? The signal is low tut 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 whack whack. You can't trick me. I'm saying the true. Zeliana, there's a new order. Coming. Hey, you still there? Why isn't she talking? I can still hear some sounds. I'll stay like this. Thank you for visiting Jeppa Cafe. Have a nice day. Jeppa Cafe. Wait, is that where she's working at? Bingo. You guys get ready and cover your face. Get ready for what? You guys are coming with me. Why are we here again? Our manager will catch us. I need to see someone here. Now stop complaining and find a girl named Zeliana. Oh, is that your friend? Huh? Just find her and I'll explain later. Yes, boss. Excuse me. May I help you? Do you know anyone here named Zeliana? Yes, do you need anything from her? Yes, actually, so can you call her? Okay, you can sit and wait, sir. Thanks. Do you need anything, sir? A cup of latte, please. Coming right up. Finally found you. Didn't know she really pretty. So let me get it all straight. You met a girl online because she accidentally chat to you instead of her mom and asked you to buy pads. And you can't stop calling and chatting her so now you're friends. And turns out, she's the one who makes your favorite latte. And she's also a fan of us and she already knows who you are. Yes, you guys are right, but she doesn't know that I know what she looks like already. So when are you gonna meet and talk to each other? Maybe when we're both free. We'll just help you with that. Hey, stop being shy now. Where's the angry stranger that I know? Hello, Zeliana is currently busy so leave a message for her. I know this is you. Are you still shocked? How can I not be when you're really chatting me? You'll get used to it too. And aren't you happy that you're talking to Crush? I'm so embarrassed because I asked an idol to buy me some pads. Hey girl, look what just arrived. It's our tickets for Triple Black's concert. Really? Let me see. Now we're ready. Wait a minute. I forgot we still have customers. Wait, so that means I'll see Xavi. He doesn't know my face anyways, so I'm safe. Now you left me on read. Okay, sorry, I'm calm now. That's good then. So do you have a ticket for our concert now? What ticket? I'm not going. I don't want to see your face. But you said you'd rather see Xavi than me, but turns out I'm the one you're talking about that you want to see. That was a lie. I know you love me. I can save you a VIP seat if you'll go. No thanks. Whatever you say. So what did she say? She said she's not coming. And you believe that? Our fans wouldn't like to miss our concert. So we're sure she's coming, and our plan will be successful. And what if she's really not coming? Then just do plan B. Fine, fine. After one week. Xavi hasn't chat or call me for one week now. Maybe he realized he doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. I mean, who even am I? I'm just a fan. Hey, are you ready? Yep, let's get going then. It's okay. At least I'll see him today. Don't worry, bro. I'm sure she's coming. I think she's already there, but we just don't see her. Then how will we find her? Welcome, everyone. Before we start, we would like to call someone named Zeliana. Please go to the VIP seats here in front. Is it you? Of course, no. There's a lot of people named Zeliana here. If you guys are confused about who it is, it's a girl with brown hair and ruby red eyes. Hey, it's you. You have brown hair and ruby red eyes. Now go there. That's my best friend, everyone. Does Xavier knows my face already? Told you she came. Now he's happy and blushing. Shut up now and get ready because we're about to get started. Let's all welcome Triple Black. Que te 
te pica cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo You know I love it when the music snap But come on, strip that down for me Baby, now there's a lot of people in the crowd But only you can dance with me Hi there, my name is Adam, and I'm part of an awesome group of friends who met while playing our favorite Roblox game, Princess Tycoon. We've always had so much fun playing together. The beautiful girl standing below me is named Lana. I had a crush on her for two years. I always watch and care for her, but she never knew. It's a little sad, but it's okay, as long as she's happy. This guy with a sad face is Alex. He has social anxiety. He is afraid to talk to new people. That red chick is Lily. Lana and Lily have been best friends since they were young. And Lily is known to be quite talkative, but her kindness shines through. Our group is like any other group. Laugh together, fight together, cry together. But one day Lana mentioned that. It might be even more fun if we added another member to our group. Initially, I was a bit hesitant about this. But after thinking about with all the things we've accomplished as a team, I'm starting to warm up to this idea. But I didn't know that. Because of that new member, a lot of crazy things happened. Guys, guys, what if we added more people to our group? It might be even more fun. Great idea. The more, the merrier. Yeah, more friends means more ideas and more fun. I like it. Ugh, I'm not so sure about that. I think we're already a great team, and adding new people could change things. Aw, Alex, I know how you feel. But think of all the new friends we could make, and all the fun we could have together. We'll still be the same awesome team, but even better. No matter how many new people we add. Guys, can I tell you something? I saw this thing on TikTok. I'm just worried that it could happen to us too. Aw, Alex, tell us about it. We're here to listen and help you feel better. Okay, so like, when a new person joins a group, they might accidentally, like, change the whole group, and everything will be messed up. And it makes me feel super scared that if we let someone new in, our group might not be as cool and fun as it is now. Oh, Alex. I get it. Change can be super duper scary sometimes. But you know what? We have been playing together for a long time. No one can ruin our friendship. That's right, Alex. Our friendship is super strong, and we won't let anything break it. Thanks, guys. You're the best friends ever. I feel a lot better now. I guess we can give it a try and find a new friend to join our super awesome team. Guys, I will add my boyfriend to the group. Don't be rude with him. She has a boyfriend. Don't, Don't worry. worry. David Handsome 69 was added to the group. Hey Lana, why are you even playing this silly game? It's so childish. You can do better than this. The group members couldn't believe what they were hearing, especially Adam, who had been secretly crushing on Lana for two years. Hey Jude, what the fuck? That's not cool. Why do you say that? If you don't want to play, you can leave the group. I don't care. Adam, stop being rude to David. But why do you care about it? Do you like that, Jeech? Hey, 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 stop. It's a bit far. Can we stop arguing and introduce ourselves? I'm sorry, David. Shut up, Jeech. Anyways, let's introduce ourselves. I go first. I'm David. I'm 17 years old. My parents is so rich. And I'm the most handsome here as you can see. <laughs> right, Lana? Oh, oh yeah, you're right, babe. I'm Lily, and I'm 16 years old. I've been Lana's friend since we were 10 years old. I'm Alex, and I'm 16 too. Lana and I met while playing Roblox about a year ago. Hey, I'm Adam, and I just turned 17 last month. I'm Lana, I'm 16 and I- Shut up, Jeech. Everyone knows. I don't care what you say. What I care about is Lily. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What? What? Lily is much prettier than you. You haven't even seen Lily's face yet. Shut up. If you say that again, I'll kick you out of the group. David, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What is wrong with you, Lana? He's treat you like SHJT. Why are you defending him? Hey, David, it's not cool to talk to Lana like that. Oh, please. Like you have any idea what's best for her. You're just a kid who plays some stupid game all day. Oh, are you like her? I, I are at least we treat her with kindness and respect, unlike you. You don't even care about her feelings, and you're making her miserable. And what do you know about her feelings, huh? You're just a friend, Adam. Nothing more. Oh, my God. It really happening. Guys, please stop. 
We're all supposed to be friends here. Can't we just get along? Both of you. I never wanted this to happen. I just wanted everyone to get along and have fun. Please, let's stop this arguing. Lana's right. We're all friends here. And also, I don't think you're cool, David. Lana, do you choose me or choose these kids? Bye bye. Me or choose these kids? It's really tough to make a decision. Because every person in my life is incredibly important to me. Shut up. I'm leaving this group. David Handsome 69 leave the group. What just happened? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Stop, I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. He's the one I love more than anything. I don't know why he suddenly treats me like that. I I. <laughs> Jesse forever joined the group chat. Lana, what's going on? Why are you crying like this? Tell me what happened. Lana wiping her tears. Tried to explain the situation to her sister. It's just, David and Adam got into a really bad argument. And then David left our group. I never wanted any of this to happen. Just wanted everyone to be friends and have fun together. Ugh, this bitch. I swear to God I'll give that bastard a billion punches. No one should ever make my big sister cry like this. Thank you, sis. I really appreciate your support. But I don't think you should do that. But it's okay. Hey guys, I want you all to meet my stepsister, Jessica. She's really nice. And I think she'd be a great addition to our group. Hi, Jessica. Welcome to our group. We're excited to get to know you. Hey there, Jessica. It's great to have you here with us. Adam's still feeling a bit hurt from the argument. Also welcome, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you'll be a great friend to all of us. Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica. I'm 16 years old, and I'm Lana's stepsister. I just want to say that Lana is such an amazing person. She's always been there for me, and she is like a real sister to me. I love her so much, and she deserves all the best things in the world. That bastard doesn't deserve Lana. We totally agree, Jessica. Lana has always been a great friend to us, too. If I wasn't gay, I would probably have liked Lana. What? what? You gay? No, I'm not. I'm 100% sure I'm straight. It's kinda sus. Anyways, do you guys want to play any games? Sure. sure. How about a hood? I've never played it. Me too. I will teach you. Oh, okay. Join me, guys. They joined the hood and played for four hours. God, how fun is that? I should have played the hood sooner. Right. I know, right. We should play that game more often. Guys, it's getting late. Maybe we should go to bed. Good night, guys. Good, Good night. night. The group members all went to bed that night. But when morning came, they noticed that Lena hadn't come online. They started to wonder where she could be. Hey, has anyone seen Lana online today? She's usually here by now. I'm not sure where she is either. I haven't seen her this morning. She's probably just out buying something or taking care of things. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Yeah, let's not worry too much. In the meantime, why don't we play Mystery 2 together and wait for Lana to come online? The group agreed to play Murder Mystery 2 while they waited for Lana to return. Guys, it's been hours now, and Lana still hasn't shown up. Me too, this isn't like her at all. I'm going to try calling her again. Jesse, forever leave the group chat. We need to find out where Lana is and make sure she's okay. You're right, Adam. Let's see if we can find any clues or information that might help us locate her. Guys, it's not good! I found Lana's phone, and there's a message from David on it. It looks like he asked her to meet him at the park. Let me show you the message. Showing message from David. Lana, I'm so sorry for the rude things I said. I hope you can forgive me. Please meet me at Ohio Park at 9 p.m. I'll be waiting for you there. The group members immediately realized that this could be the reason for Lana's disappearance. Guys, I can't help but think that David has kidnapped Lana. Why else would she disappear like this? I hate to say it, but I think you're right, Lily. We need to find her and make sure she's safe. I can't believe this is happening. We have to save my sister. This must be where Lana went. We need to go to the park and see if she's there. You're right, Adam. We can't waste any more time. Let's head to Ohio Park now. Guys, we can't underestimate how dangerous David could be. We need the police to help us handle this situation. I will call the police. Hello, this is 911. What can I help you? Please help me, my stepsister, Lana. She was kidnapped. Please, try to stay calm. We're here to help. Can you tell us everything you know about Lana's disappearance? Lana received a message from her boyfriend. 
David asking her to meet him at Ohio Park at 9 p.m. He apologized for being rude to her and wanted to make amends. But since then, we haven't seen or heard from her. We're all really worried about her safety. Thank you for sharing that information with us. We'll do everything we can to find Lana and make sure she's safe. Do you have any recent pictures of Lana or any idea where David might have taken her? At Ohio Street Park, the police and the group of friends gathered to discuss their search strategy. All right, everyone, we're going to split up into teams to cover more ground. Each team will be made up of a police officer and one or two of Lana's friends. We'll search the entire park and any nearby areas where David might have taken her. That sounds like a good plan. We'll cover more ground that way and increase our chances of finding Lana. Remember, if you find anything or need assistance, use your walkie-talkie to let the other teams know. We're all in this together. And our main priority is finding Lana and ensuring her safety. After only five minutes of searching, a police officer suddenly shouted. He announced that he had found one of Lana's shoes. About 100 meters away, there was an abandoned house. Everyone, listen up. We found one of Lana's shoes near this abandoned house. There's a chance she could be inside. Let's proceed with caught iron and approach the house quietly. We don't want to alert anyone inside. I can't believe we're so close to finding Lana. I hope she's okay. Me too, Jessica. We're all worried about her, but we have to stay strong. I just want Lana to be safe. I'll do anything to help her. As everyone approached the house... David, why are you doing this? What do you want from me? You think you're so special, don't you? Well, no one will save you. We need to move in now. Remember, our priority is Lana's safety. Be prepared for anything. You know what, Lana? I never really loved you. I was only with you because of your money. How could you, David? I thought you cared about me. You stupid girl. I never loved you. 